What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to the faraway paladin. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got Patreon, channel membership, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to the faraway paladin episode one. I have been waiting for this show i've read the manga a little bit it's a really good story i know that it's going to take a while to build up in this story because we're going to know about our main lead or male lead and um the people who raised him we're going to get some backstory on the people who raised him and it's really good the reveal the pieces of it is really really good the manga that i've read i've only got to the part where he's interacting with humans and such so that's how far i got and oh this is gonna be so good okay so it's kind of like a reincarnation kind of thing Interesting. I like how they're portraying this like he's water, he's dark, and then he's seen the light. I like how they're making a connection because that light, that lamp is going to be connected to gods and goddesses. Wrist of the gods appeared. <laughs> Do you notice that he's being taught by a ghost like person? Was it like poltergeist? Interesting how they have, I guess, the previous world's voice in the head. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that writing in the air. He's like, hey, 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 that's magic. Are you impressed now? Birds of creation. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. you see that lamp? Pretty amazing to see these characters in color. God of light. Yep, she prays to Earth Mother every day.
So all these guys are undead. And they're all taking care of this little boy. So cute, even though they don't eat, they still sit at the table with him. Hunting teaches you all kinds of lessons. <laughs> oh, he's only three in this part. It seems like blood is out of touch on the progress of humans, you know? <laughs> it's a speaker where she bakes the bread. Why there are no humans other than him. All will be revealed later on. I just don't know when. I don't know how um fast they're going to make this story. Because other stories. Other isekai anime that we've seen so far. They've been quickening the story. Yo. Like volume. So this one I'm not too sure how it's going to be. Human with memories from his previous life. So y'all got secrets. Mm -hmm. A mummy, a ghost. Is that is she? Does she look like a mummy? She doesn't look like a mummy to me. Pretty mummy. Such a good baby. Good job learning their language. There's a lot of imagery going on in the dialogue or monologue. Oh, crying because of the beautiful scenery. I like how our protagonist is appreciating their second life. Oh, older. He's older now. Yeah. I think you can knock me down. 
<laughs> Muscles are super masochistic. <laughs> super M's. <laughs> Muscles are super M. <laughs> Interesting how they have to write the word. It's not a chant, it's not from the mind. Write it. Oh, interesting. That's a good uh comparison. A chair and a table. Words have fluctuations. Instincts. Ooh. Money. Money is important. Oh, that is so true. <laughs> it's going to be a long lecture about the importance of monetization. <laughs> what's it called um must have been really frugal back in the day would rather save than spend minions of gauze ah uh. The god of the undead, stagnant. Oh, oh, she's kind of explaining about themselves. Creatures to the virtuous gods. Their story is really good. I'm anticipating how they're going to tell it in this anime. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, thank you for your life. You provide food. Those are a lot of little birds. It's good that you have a father-like figure. You need that. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Ooh. The battle has begun. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. 
Oh, he doesn't have to write the letters. Oh, good, 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 good. He just has to chance it. Oh, not chant, chant it. Ooh. <laughs> Wandering Sage. War Ogre, Daughter of Mater. They all have titles, you guys notice. So they're exceptional people. So it's like something must have happened for them to make a deal with Stagnant. Mm-hmm. Nothing I said was incorrect. I like how colorful they are. I like how Wandering Sage is Gus. Gus is blue, blood is red, and Mata is Mary. Mary is yellow. Oh, you're being considerate of him. Oh, yeah, he knows he's not like the three of you. I really want to know what they look like before they became undead. Because especially blood, like, bones! And he's huge! Once your body's grown big enough to mash that heart. Ooh, that's a good quote. That all seems kind of like detached from life. It may detach from his previous life, and this one he getting more attached, feeling compassion, love for these three people. Academic lessons, fighting. Mary teaches them. Everyday life stuff. How to be a normal person. Why is she carrying the bread out of the temple? Mary's secret! There, there is no oven temple. She'll say that. Oh, the anticipation! She's on fire! Fire! 
Oh, good. They did an episode there. Good, good. How long did he keep hold of her? Explain to him! But when were you going to explain? Badge of manhood. He's like, well, I am your student. <laughs> Red is a gift from the Earth Mother Mater. So she's on fire because she betrayed Mater, impure god of death, stagnant, is the Earth Mother Mater's enemy. Coming in contact with your divine presence causes them to burn. Praying to the Earth Mother every evening and morning has been a daily routine since young. Endure the pain and retribution. So even though she made a contract, became undead, she still prays. She is faithful. Has devotion. So it's not like she was abandoned by the goddess Mater, even though the undead made a contract with Stagnant. And that's my reaction to the Faraway Paladin episode one. As you can tell, I like the episode. I'm liking the piece. It's good. I hope in the next episode, you know more about the three undead people. Oh, their story is so good. Oh, I think this is being portrayed very well in the anime form. I really like the colors because, you know, in the mangas, it's like black and white. So, yeah, I'm liking this anime. But besides me, what do you guys think about this episode? What do you think about the anime? What are you anticipating? And what did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Also, and um, I say outside. And I also stream on Twitch.tv slash host Superfina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where I talk about anime, manga, and other things we were talking we like to talk about. Oh, what am I doing? Other things we're interested in. <laughs> if you like podcasts like that, links to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that. My name is Lahua, and this is the Superfina channel reacting to the Faraway Paladin episode one. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Laters.